Hi there. So this is the second part of my Cities of Imag Imagination jam doing the expo that never was, which is an artwork that I'm creating for my 3zuni.com sci-fi visual story. And it's based on retro expos, my favorite retro expos, Expo 67 and the World Expo 70 in Osaka, Japan, and 67 was in Montreal, in Canada. So here is an architectonic pattern that I've been working on, and I'm doing this in Substance Designer. I need to update it, actually. I haven't bothered to update it yet. And this pattern, as you can see, is very kind of retro-y. It's you know like a geodesic dome and I'll tell you what it's based on you might have seen the title of this video and it's based on the Epcot Center sphere dome and the triangular patterns that extrude from the dome here's the flat pattern and I'm just not going to do a tutorial because I don't really do stage one, two, three tutorials anymore. I'm just doing a look around. I think it's more fun for you and me. So in Substance Designer, if you've never used Substance Designer before, I'd recommend getting into it. And to learn it, it's best to watch loads of YouTube videos when people make things of it. A as time lapse ones and also B as when they speak and tell you what they did. So anyway, when you're making something in Substance Design, you need to break down the elements of what you're making. Um, so here, all it was was a polygon, a three-sided polygon, okay? And it's got ridges on it. So the ridges are, if I selected that properly, yeah, the gradient on it is the ridge so the gradient cranked up to the highest amount makes these nice little ridges that are going to be used for um, the final pattern because I'm going to later on do what's called an edge select an edge detect as you can see I haven't cranked the gradient up to one it's still got some a little triangle on top so I just go to one and then you'll see it all change like so as you can see it's a procedural texture, a procedural way to make textures in Substance Designer, which is I love. So if you're kind of old school and you come from 3D when, you know, way back in 99, when I started 3D properly, you know, you using Photoshop and 3D S Max or whatever. And in Photoshop, you couldn't really get into the nodes you couldn't you did they didn't have nodes sorry in, in 3d and stuff but now it's all con node based and at the start i didn't really like it but i'd recommend anyone that's kind of old school get into noding okay so here's that then i did a transformation can you see what i did i stretched the height of it because believe it or not i can't quite work this out either <laughs> an equilateral triangle it doesn't tessellate i can't anyway as far as I can see it didn't tessellate so I, you need to make it an isosceles triangle to have these sides longer so obviously you do that by doing the transformation 2D and you have to sugar it around to, to match match it later so here's that it's offset so this is the tile generator with the amount of offsets and it's offset by 0 0.5 if you, can, if you see what I mean so if you do that the offsetting is basically when it's 0.5 it will you know, make it exactly in the middle and that's the pattern we want and then as you can see here I've transformed transformation 2D that one I flipped it basically more or less I suppose you could use mirror for that and also anyone out there Southern designer that knows a more efficient method that I'm using let me know because I'm not I've only been using Southern designer for a year or so blends 
So that's the two blended together, that one and that one, to make this nice pattern. And it's uh, you have to mess around with the blending no no the blending modes to get the right pattern. Sharpen. I don't think that's doing much to be honest. And here's where the magic words works: edge detect. And we've got very low edge width and roundness. So if we take it up, oh, that's that's a pretty nice pattern actually. To remember that. The beautiful thing about Southern Designer is you discover things by playing around with the settings. Anyway, so taking it back to that, let's increase the edge width, and then that increases the actual edge width, which doesn't look like the thing we're trying to achieve. So we just take that up down to one, so it gives a very thin look there. Now, the, just making this for the metal, so I'm inverting it and that kind of thing. The ambient occlusion makes it kind of look a bit more dirty in a way you know it gives contrast on the actual flat surfaces of it and then as you can see I've blended the base color with the original and the ambient occlusion so it's like that multiply okay then we've got the normal map and we've got the roughness Done that, and of course the height. So the height wouldn't work if it was the when it was edge detect. So we have to go back before that with these ridges to get the nice height working. And as you can see in the height map um, 3D view, it's really looking nice now. And that's just from this simple pattern. When I began Sub's Designer, for those of you that are kind of beginning. I was always frustrated because I couldn't work out for the life of me how to make it displace. It would look okay, as you can see with the normal, it kind of looks 3D, but it's not properly, it's not 3D, I mean, it's not extruding on the edges, okay? So to do that, the best thing to do is to go to definitions, tessellation, and then playing around with these factors, like the scale factor, yeah? You can even over crank it. You can take it beyond the, the scale. So you can take it up to five. You know, so you can make it really crank up so it starts to look like origami kind of lampshades and things like that. Okay. So this is all just done with the maps. And obviously, we can export the maps with the cog icon, export the maps separately, then bring them into your 3D program of choice that supports height maps and normals such as Blender and 3ds max and Maya, etc etc okay so basically that's the way we do it and tune in for more i'm gonna in the next video i'm gonna develop my architectonic design for the the exhibition that never was and i'm also going to take this into alchemist which is also by substance designer and alchemist you can do some really neat tricks with things like adding rust and things like that without doing it really extremely voodoo style in substance designer which is you can do it but it's quite hard alchemist will do it for you much much quicker but at the same time it's not procedural anymore it's more just an image okay thanks so much for listening remember to subscribe to me if you want more videos um, especially the cities of imagination videos and you can hit press the bell button by the side of the subscribe so of course you can get notifications when i make new videos thank you very much for tuning in and i'll speak to you soon bye